Welcome to Stitch Crazy. Um, today we are going to make um, a t-shirt pillow. So um, you just have to go to your stash of t-shirts, like I brought some over here. We have extra that has like a design on it that you would want. This is what our finished pillow is going to look like. And on the back, we utilize the, um, the bottom of your t-shirt for the seams, so less sewing. Okay, and so for this project, you're gonna need your t-shirts, you're gonna need um, a couple rulers or squares. You can get a bigger one than this. This is a 12 and a half, but my, um, this particular pillow was 16 and a half by 16. So then when you're cutting your piece, you have to allow for your seam allowances so that it's not gonna be too tight on your pillow. Um, the pillow form that I have here, like I said, this one was 16 by um, 16 and a half. This one is 14 by 14. So that's the size I'm gonna be going for today. So then if I do a half inch seam on each side, I want at least a 15 inch piece. And then that should fit this pillow just right. Okay, so then like I said on this, we're gonna utilize um, the seams on your t-shirt uh, for the backing so then you can slip your pillow in and out if you need to and then you can wash this if you have to okay so um, you need your t-shirts your rulers a scissors and I use pins and those are the and your pillow form so those are the supplies that you're going to need for this project okay so now once I um, Decide. I'm going to take this um, t-shirt that I had gotten that has um, the breast cancer and the hope and this design I measure my design and it looks like it is a little over nine approximately nine and a half by eleven and a half and so um, we want to make it so that this design is in the middle of your pillow. So if this is going to be 15, that would be seven and a half would be the middle. So, um, seven, yeah, seven and a half would be the middle. So I want to, this is 12 and a half. So I like to go as far up at the top as I can so that when you're doing this pillow, that's the only thing with, with um, your neckline. You can't really get the design exactly in the middle of your pillow because there's not too much. So I try to get as close as I can and I pin them. Grab some of these loose pins here. And then I just like, on the top for the design you got to have the design for sure so and um, okay so seven and a half would be the middle I'm just gonna pin it kind of all I taking my ruler here and just kind of eyeballing it straight try to get it as straight as you can and and then when I get done I kind of look at it to see if it's straight or not but we're gonna have um, your front and two backs. So you'll have three pieces when you're done here. This is what's a little time consuming is getting this all squared up. Okay, and so my design, what did I say? It was like nine and a half. So if you kind of want your design in the middle, nine and a half, the middle is four and a half. So I'm going to find my four and a half, four and a half, about four and three quarters would be the middle. So approximately right here. So I kind of want to mark that that's approximately my middle of my design. Because I'd kind of like that in the middle of my pillow if I can. And so then I'm just going to take my ruler and just lay it on here. And I've got this marked, so I'm just gonna go straight down 
and kind of mark it as this is kind of the middle right here. Okay, so then I want to go, this is 12 and a half right here. And I'm going to have to add on to that because I want it to be at least, at least 15 long. So 12 and a half, 13 and a half, 14, and 15. I'm taking my ruler and I'm using my little guides because they're by the inch. And so 12 and a half, 13 and a half, 14 and a half, 15. So I want my thing to be 15. So then I'm going to mark this down here. So from the top down to here should be 15, so that's 12 and a half, 13, 14, 15. And if you want, you can always make it just a tish bigger if you don't feel it's right. Okay, so my middle, I said was, the middle of my design is nine and a half, so it's four and three quarters, so four and three quarters. So I got to do a little figuring here. So I'm going to mark this. So from here, to the end of this design, which that design is actually here. Okay, so then if I want this to be 15, I have to do a little math here. So 15 and nine is six inches. So then I want to add about three inches on each side of this design. So I'm gonna add, from this pin here, I'm gonna go out three inches. And a pro, I mean, and when you're at home, you can work with this a little bit more, and we're just kind of um, we're working it today, but it, it'll it'll turn out okay. There's different sizes of pillow uh, forms, so depending on how big you want your pillow, and then depending on the size of your T-shirt too and your design, that all comes into play. Okay, so my design over here, I want to go three. So, approximately this here. I do a lot of drawing on paper and figuring it out, and, um, and sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But it gets as close as you can. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's pretty close. Okay, I'm going to take these out. I'm going to leave my middle my middle design pin in here. I don't need these other pins because I don't want to accidentally cut in the wrong spot. So now I have just my square front piece. Get three months free access on all lines plus a new 4G smartphone for only $4.99 a month. Two great offers with Valley Cellular. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to take advantage of this great deal. And so then what I'm going to do is I am, being as I'm going to use my front, I'm going to take and snip the front here because I want to utilize the back. So I'm just taking and I'm cutting along. And you can pin it closer together if you want. Just follow my pins up.
and these edges are going to be in your sewing so if they're not perfect you're not going to see it anyway once you sew it Okay, so now we're getting closer here. We got two sides cut. Kind of want to keep that middle pin in there for now. Okay, so now I got my design piece cut out here. Okay, and so then really all I need to do for this one piece, I'm just going to go. right. I'm going to lay my piece there. I'm just going to cut it straight down. And you could do this um, right when you're cutting your piece like that too. You could have just went, st I could have just marked it straight down, which I probably should have done. So that's my one backing piece. So then now what I want to do is I want to have another backing piece. And if you want, you know, you could go all the way over to the side if you want to save this for something else, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, oh, maybe I will. <laughs> So first of all, I want to make sure that this is pretty close to what we, and I, I do see like with this t-shirt it does stretch, so it did go kind of up on one spot versus the other. So I measured it here and I've got ten and a half, or ten and a quarter, it's ten and a quarter. So my piece here has to be at least 15, okay? So if we did, and we gotta allow for seam allowance, and then we also have to allow, like when you're putting your pillow in, it's gonna kinda separate it. So um, we don't want just a five inch piece. And so it wouldn't even hurt to have it the same size as this. And it would just, it would overlap more. That's all it would do. Okay. I think I'm just going to bring it to the edge here and... less cutting that way if you already have a seam cut. Because I know on this one I almost didn't have enough overlapping. So then I'm just going to cut this because we know it's going to be the right um, width. And we could just go a little bit shorter. I probably want, will want to 
take and straighten this piece out. Because I can see here. So then I just measure it. Lay it down here. Ten and a quarter. Or ten and a half. It's ten and a half. And this is ten and a half. So there we go. Just a little piece there that was off. Okay. So now we are ready to put our pillow together because we have these two are the backing pieces and this is the pillow. So we'll put the right sides to the inside. And then we want the seam to be in the middle. And then we want right sides together here. And there again, we want the, the seam in the middle. We want it to overlap. I almost did that wrong. It can easily be done. Okay. I found this way of doing these pillows. I thought, oh, for easy. I'm always used to cutting all these pieces and then having to sew the seams. And this way you can take your pillow in and out. Okay, so then I'm gonna just pin this all together. And then we can get to our sewing. Now with the knits, you have to kind of be careful too because they can stretch when you're sewing. So I put lots of pins in because then it tends not to stretch. Now this is overlapping, but I think that'll be okay because once your pillow comes in there, there might, um, okay. So then being as this is okay, um, and there's a pin under here. We'll just take that out and we'll use that for pinning our pieces together. And then we'll want to pin these together too. So once we've gone all the way around and pinned these pieces together, then we can go to the sewing machine and sew. Because we don't have to worry about leaving the spot to um, turn it inside out because you have it right here. As the demand for advanced broadband and cloud-based services continues to grow, so does our commitment to you, our members. We are committed to providing you with the newest technologies and fastest broadband speeds available anywhere. Watch for the exciting details on faster speeds and new broadband packages coming soon. Okay, so now we're going to sew, and I am going to start not right at the very corner, but I'm going to start a ways away from the corner and I'm gonna do a half an inch seam because that's what I allowed for so we'll just sew all the way around it the seams you have to go a little slower because it's thicker there pivot at my corner so I usually put my needle down and then turn my fabric and then keep going. And it seems like I always 
um, on certain sides. I put my pins in backwards. So then I have to stop quickly to pull my pins out. And then I just put my needle down at the corner again and pivot. And if you don't get it the exact, like on some of these, the seams I noticed was a little over the edge, so then I just account, make sure I get enough on top and bottom to hook it together. It'll be fine. Now you can take, I mean, this is another way of utilizing a t-shirt, but you can take and make a t-shirt quilt out of them too. You can, you know, take your design and put them in the middle and, and make blocks out of them. I just overlap my stitching, just go back, and then you can just cut off the ends. Okay, and then now what I kind of do is, or what I do is I just kind of snip the corners, because the corners get so thick. Because this doesn't really ravel t-shirts so I just kind of do that okay so then now I'm going to cut this little piece of thread off okay then I just take and I bring my corners out to the front and then I, I use my um, pin to kind of bring the corner in you can also buy these little um, wood pieces or you can even use like the corner of the scissors just make sure you don't put the scissors through there through the corner and that just squares up your corner a little nicer that's all okay so that's two sides I'll bring this in With the t-shirts, it's a little easier to get your corner because it kind of stretches with you. So, And then I just use my pin to square it up a little better. There we go. Valley Telecommunications, the home team advantage. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, this t-shirt and we're going to put this pillow in here. And there we go. Voila, got a pillow done. And then here's the second one. Now on this one, you can kind of see the, um, the design through the pillow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another pillowcase and I'm gonna cut the size of it, as being as it's white, and then I'm gonna make it so that that also goes like this. So you can't see that design of the pillow inside of it. But that's a way of using up old pillows too you can put them into these t-shirt pillows. Okay, I brought a show and tell today. Um, when I lived in Bismarck, I took a, and I belonged to a quilting group. Um, we hired a, 
professional quilter to come and teach us how to applique. So this is my first um, applique piece that I ever made and I thought I would share that today. Um, these are hand dyed fabrics and some of them are just plain fabrics and then I put them together and made two blocks and made a wall hanging out of it and I just machine stitched real simple um, some little lines on the back and around the block to add a little dimension. So I just thought I would share this little hand applique piece with you today. So I hope you have enjoyed our show today. If you have any ideas or would like to be a host of our show, give us a call at 437-2615. Thank you.